Hey everybody, it is War God 63 here, Kevin. I do have a collections update. Uh, I haven't done a collections update in quite a while. In fact, I haven't done a video probably in six weeks. Uh, but I got a couple I'm going to be doing tonight <clears throat> to uh, keep every update, everyone updated on what I've gotten. But tonight is a collections video and it is on the band Crystal Viper. Of course, if you don't know who Crystal Viper is, uh, consists of, uh, in the early days, it consists of uh, Marta Gabriel, Andy Wave, uh, Blazhev, Giragayo, Eric Juris, and Sed. Uh, <clears throat> They uh, formed in 2003, and they're, they're more of a, I don't know, a power metal, heavy metal band, fantasy horror, lyrical themes. Uh, most of their stuff is on listenable records. I have everything but one that I'm trying to get, uh, and it is a little bit pricey. That one I'm currently looking for is... looking for Sleeping Swords, which is a compilation. But anyway, we'll start out with uh, some of the early stuff. Uh, of course, the first one is uh, Curse of the Crystal Viper, which is uh, this one right here. Uh, this is what actually is what's playing right now, so uh, hopefully I won't get a copyright strike on this. But uh, I'm not profiting on this in any way, shape, or form, just so you know. But uh, this one came out in uh, 2007. It has uh, 10 tracks on it. Uh, this one came out on, uh, let's see here, Cathargo Records actually. Uh, this of course is a first, is a full length. Uh, yeah, it came out in uh, 2007 on Cathargo Records, February 25th, 2007 to be exact. But, uh, First album from Crystal Viper. They are out of Poland, if you're not aware. But uh, uh, not, not much on the inside there. But uh, anyway, this is the first one they have. And of course, it is uh, Curse of the Crit Crystal Viper. Uh, this band has evolved over the years <clears throat> and they've gotten better and better with each album. Um, and she's become very well known in the metal community. She's probably another metal queen, just like Doro. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so, uh, album two, which was the last Axe Man, which is this one here. Um, that one came out in February 20, 25th of 2008. I gotta have my little Thing here. I'll never remember all this. Uh, my mind is kind of going on me a little bit, but anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, this came out, like I said, February 25th, 2008 on CD. This is The Last Axe Man. Of course, it has uh, uh, seven original tracks. Uh, it has a, a cover of Wild Child by Wasp. And it has, this is more of a cover actually. This has a Virgin Steel cover, uh, Anvil of Hate, The Banshee, it's a new song, uh, Last Axe Man, Polish version, Flaming Metal Systems, Manila Road cover, Wild Child Wasp cover, and then it has uh, some official bootleg recordings of live in Underbach in 2007. But uh, anyway, this is. Uh, the Last Axe Man. Uh, on CD, of course. Uh, so, album number two. Of course, I do have the vinyl version of this. Uh, 
which is very nice. Uh, I'm sure you can get these. I don't know if they're going to be pricey or what. I got these early on. This is on High Roller Records. This is uh, the orange version. So, High Roller probably got the rights to put it on vinyl, which is very nice. So I was happy about that, and then it has a, a nice cardboard collage of the band. Um, it has titles of the songs, uh, credits, and no lyrics though, but uh, this just, the cut album does it more justice than the CD, it just has a better overall feel about it. It's bigger, it's 12 by 12 rather than 6 by 6. But uh, another great album from uh, Just a Viper. Uh, and the, the lineup here, This lineup consisted of David McGee's, Josh Block, well, not really, hang on, there we go. Anyway, uh, there's a lot on here, but uh, anyway, The Last Axe Man on vinyl. Next up, is Metal Nation. Of course I have that on CD as well. This one came out in February 15th of 2009 on Cathargo Records as well. So these are all originals. And uh, of course, this has nine tracks. The lineup is Marta Gabriel, Andy Wave, Tom Warna, and Golem on drums. So this is a four piece on this particular uh, Crystal Viper. Uh, of course, you gotta love the covers. I'm trying to figure out uh, uh, who did Um, the covers. I did the cover. I'm not positive. I'll have to check on that. But anyway, like I say, 2008 for this one, of course, on CD. And of course, I do have this on vinyl as well. I got these real early on, so uh, these are all OGs. Uh, but these are put out by High Roller, so these are original to High Roller. Um, Metal Nation. Uh, again, the covers on these are much better than on the CDs. More detail. And uh, this one is has a, again, nice this one has lyrics. And I, uh, lyrics, uh, credits, band members, so forth. This one here is on. This one is only on black vinyl. So, Crystal Viper Metal Nation on vinyl. After Metal Nation came Sleeping Swords, which was a compilation. Uh, I don't have that one, I've been looking for it. I checked today, it goes in upwards of $50 for the CD. Uh, I don't see it on vinyl. That one would have come out in 2009, so uh, the band was pretty, pretty consistent in releasing their albums yearly. 
Uh, of course, then after Sleeping Swords, uh, there were some singles in between there. Uh, Sleeping Swords compilation, uh, The Wall and the Witch, a single, Stronghold, the single, and then came uh, Defenders of the Magic Circle, live in Germany, which is this one right here. That one came out June 4th of 2010. So it's just live materials, live in Germany. Uh, a lot of their early stuff is on this. So check it out. That lineup is, I would think it's pretty close to the same. Yeah, this lineup is the same as the last one. Marta, Andy, Golem, Tom. So two albums, same, same four members. After that came After that came Legends, which is on CD. I don't have it on vinyl. This came out in 2010. This has uh, 10 tracks with a bonus. So there's 11 on there. This, this time this, they're on the AFM label. And uh, let's see here, where am I at? Legends was released October 22nd in 2010. Uh, lineup, again, the same lineup for the last couple of albums, so uh, again, she stays true to the sound they've always done, which is uh, heavy metal, maybe a little speedy at times, maybe a little power metal, but uh, fantastic. Love Crystal Viper. After that came uh, Crimean Accepta. Crimean Accepta. Uh, which is on CD as well. And again, this is on the AFM label. You can see it. Uh, again, some great stuff. Female fronted, this is, a, they call it a cult metal on this particular one. Limited first CD edition with two bonus tracks. Uh, you get a steel pendant with the witch's mark. And, uh, Anyway, here it is. You can see I have it in there, right there. So it is an original. Uh, and this one came out in 2012, to be exact, April 24, 2012, a full length. Uh, again, on AFM. The lineup is, I do believe, it's the same lineup again. So four albums, same lineup, pretty solid. So <clears throat> this is, what what is this, their sixth album right now? Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven. Seventh album. Up next. Of course there were singles intermixed in between that. Uh, between Legends was Witch's Mark, Crimean Accepta, you had Fight Evil with Evil, which was a single in 2013, and then came Possession, again on the AFM label. Uh, this was released on December 13, 2013, AFM. Again, she doesn't stray far from her sound. Uh, she's been with a lot of other other bands, guest appearances, uh, and the vinyl I'll be showing you is her latest release on her own. So, but anyway, Possession again, 2013. 
And the rest I have are all on vinyl coming up. Um, I have Queen of the Witches. Which is this one right here. Which is a gatefold. And these are all original first pressings. <clears throat> this one is on... white vinyl of course I you know if you look at the vinyl sides of these on most of their albums uh, for instance on this one well this one is side A side B but uh, uh, some of them I'll show you here in a little bit uh, Queen of the Witches came out on February 17 2017 on AFM records as well uh, this is limited 500 units I'm not sure what they're going for nowadays or how easy you can get them, but uh, the lineup changed a little bit here. Uh, Marta is still there, of course, Andy and Golem, and then Blazes, Blazes, Blazeg, however you pronounce it. Uh, Griegel is back in the band on bass. Uh, and you can get this on a digital format as well, so. But uh, it has a special guest on here, Boss the Boss, Montes, and Steve Bittney. So, Queen of the Witches, great stuff. Up next, a 10 inch, which was at the edge of time. Limited 500 units. This is a clear vinyl. Of course, this has the same lineup with the exception of the drummer. As the previous one, uh, it has to it actually it does have the same drummer, Golem, on here. But this is kind of a, more of an EP of sorts uh, at the edge of time. I don't know why they put it on a 10 inch. But uh, this one here is crystal clear and on the inners here it has uh, side A which would be heavy side B which would be metal so it heavy metal uh, this one here I mean that is about as clear as you can get damn it, it looks like a glass so anyway at the edge of time an EP was released on June 29, 2018, 500 copies. I don't know if you can get this. You may be, you may, might find it. But uh, five tracks at the edge of time when the sun goes down. Uh, a Polish song, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. When Are You and Tell Me Why, which is a bonus track, so at the edge of time. 2018. Up next, between that there were a couple singles from 2019, uh, Still Alive, Bright Lights, and then the release of Tales of Fire and Ice. Which is this here. This one also is a gatefold. And I'm sure you could probably still get these. Uh, this was released November 22nd, 2nd, uh, 2019. This is on... It's kind of a yellow translucent vinyl here. And... A and B on here are listed as side fire and side ice. I don't know if you can see that over there, up here. But uh, very cool. I like how they uh, mix it up a little bit. This is a five piece now. Of course, Marta, Andy, Eric Juris is lead in rhythm guitars. Blaze is still there and Golem is still there. So pretty much 
the same four that have been in the band since about 2008. But uh, anyway, Fire and Ice. Feels Fire and Ice. And the latest release, uh, which came out this year, um, I don't know, I, I haven't seen too many people really show this, but uh, this is also on vinyl, it's called uh, The Cult. Released January 29th, 2021, so it was an early release of this year. Again, like I say, she stays true to her sound. She doesn't sway very far from it. Uh, this is on listenable records, whereas uh, this one here is on AFM, so uh, the switch, she switched labels, as well as uh, this one here, also AFM records. She now has her own record label as well. I just read that the other day, but uh, the Cult, the Crystal Viper. Again, has really nice hard cardboard inserts here. Uh, kind of an animated picture of the band. Uh, tells you who they are, special thanks, so forth. It has all the lyrics. And uh, this one is, Again, it has side heavy and side metal. This is blue, pretty blue. So anyway, that is my collection of Crystal Viper. Missing one, Selling Swords. If anybody comes across it, let me know. I'm looking for it, but uh, their latest one here. And then in addition, um, she released her own uh, her own metal, her own album out uh, called Metal Queens. All covers, fantastic album. If you have not heard this, definitely pick it up. Uh, she does a great job on all these covers. Uh, it's a red vinyl. Um, I'm trying to think of, uh, let me see here. Of course, you know, uh, she plays with Blazing Stone. She put, she's the bass player in there. Uh, she played with Moon Chamber. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't see it. Anyway, great covers. Let's see here. We'll pull this out to see. Um, the covers are uh, Max Overload by Acid, Metal Queen by Lee Aaron, Call of the Wild by Black Lace, uh, Light in the Dark by Chastain. Uh, pretty much all female fronted songs. Rebel Ladies by Zed Yago, My Angel Rock Goddess, Count Your Blessings by Maltese, Going Wild with Wendy O. Williams, Bad Attitude by Hellion, and Reincarnation by Santa. So, Pretty much an all-female covers album from Marta Gabriel, and this is called Metal Queens. Definitely pick this up. You know, you're definitely gonna love this. If you like uh, true heavy metal? This is what you need to get. So anyway, guys, that is all I have for this collections update. I'll leave some uh, links below to Crystal Viper uh, and Marta Gabriel. So uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, if you have any comments, leave them below, and we'll see you next time. Take care.